My life was a train wreck. The spirit of anger destroyed my life. I was a young man raised by a woman and I became just like her. So I was neurotic, hysterical, depressed and sad under psychiatrist's care since the age of like 19. At that time, I was under doctor's orders to take medication. I was in the service. The VA used to give me 500 Valiums at a time. I have been in so many psych wards, I can't actually remember. It's over 10. I had been at this uh, psych ward so many times, the doctor said, if I ever come back, he's gonna keep me and not let me out. And I've had been diagnosed just by every uh, so-called mental illness you could think of. And uh, I've been through a dual diagnosis clinics. I've been through counseling. I've been to therapy. I've been to psychologists, psychiatrists. I've been to every medication you could think of and uh, nothing in the world had to offer help. I've been through so many attempted suicides. That one put me in a coma. When I woke up out of that coma, I was in a coma for like a week and a half on an ICU. And uh, they didn't think I was gonna wake up, but I woke up and I had that's when I had actually a spiritual experience and I was in the presence of God before I woke up. This is uh, the beginning of uh, my spiritual journey. He explained to me why he wouldn't let me die. He needed me to fight. I was on fire when I woke up. I literally woke up on fire and I actually ripped all the stuff, the ICU stuff out immediately out of me and I started stumbling out of the hospital. I passed out somewhere down there on Bass and Cherry from St. Jude, but he showed me the world on fire. And so I started doing research and all this kind of stuff. And it uh, turns out Satan really is in charge of everything in this world. And uh, I found uh, Jesus and I started going to church and, uh, and God softened my heart somewhere along the way. You know, I figured it out step by step. And Jesus was calling me to find my people. He had been doing, I've been church hopping, though only the ones before COVID and even trying to find them during COVID, there was very few. And then during COVID, when I found this place, it was the most unbelievable thing you could ever believe. Within five, 10 minutes, and everybody's just like happy to be here. Welcome home, we're glad you're here. And then the news came on and it was like, everything that happened, like, this, is, this is what I've been looking for, this is what I want. It's been a heck of a ride since then. And it's just incredible people that love the Lord. It's just unbelievable. The spirit here at the church, I, I, I come here humbly. I just, you guys want to help me learn. I need to learn. I don't know how to do it. I'm learning how to do it. And uh, I love the Lord, you know. They, they literally pulled me out of the pit. Jesus saves, you know what I mean? I was, I was in the, the pit of despair and uh, I'm literally, I have a, a clear mind. You know, he, he softened my heart. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not angry at any of those things. It's just like a completely miraculous experience to be free. I've been off uh, any type of narcotic for over six years. If somebody was watching this and didn't know the Lord, I would tell them that Jesus saves. I would tell them, I know you got a story. I guarantee that that pain Jesus could make that go away. That pain, Jesus can rescue you from that pain. Whatever it is, Jesus can remove that. He did it for me, you know? And uh, if he can do it for me, he can do it for anybody.